Here's our judge, Mrs. Joan Caffelli, narrowing down the field now as we're in the final stages of Best of Breed competition. There we go. See if this is going to be our lineup here. Judge still looking, as you can see. But I couldn't, I couldn't get to you to, to wait with you guys to see where you're going. It was like there was too many people there, and then when we got back with them, we wanted to get the number. I couldn't get to you guys again, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Doing the countdown there at the end. Let's see if we get some pointing here. All right, there's the, there we have it. Congratulations to all of our winners here, which we will give you momentarily as we watch our judge shake hands with all of our handlers in her sequential order. All right, there we have it. One time around, we'll probably have a victory lap here. And here they come, our winners for 2015 Best of Breed. Winner, the Best of Breed, Best of Winners, Best of Opposite, our Select Dog, Select Bitch, and Awards of Merit. Congratulations, one and all. Our Best of Breed, entry number 20, Grand Champion Irvin Hill, Leave It to Me, Anthony Barker and Thea Lati are the owners. Our best of winners, number 58, McRue is one and only. Kelly Wamsler is the owner. Our best of opposite sex, number 29, champ champion Sugar Bushes, Made in America. Thomas and Diana Miller are the breeder owners. Select dog, number 39, champion Anamkara 
Red Sky at Night, Ron Ho and Janice Herring are the breeder owners. And select bitch number 22. Grand Champion Rockledge, Ms. Lexi of Meath. Linda Honey, Joyce Wilson are the owners. Linda is the breeder. Awards of Merit now follow. Number 10, Grand Champion Trackways Cassidy Keepsake. And then I believe our winner's dog, number 15, is in there as well with a, uh, an award of merit. Kinkora's Kalut son, Bruce Good, Harriet Good, and Michael Good. Number seven is an award of merit. Grand Champion Red Branch D'Artagnan of the Ring. Number 52 is an award of merit, and that is from the uh, veteran bitch class, Grand Champion Irish Rose Aaron Isles Luna Light. And also number 54, Champion O. Patrick Sarah. Patrick Crane and Geraldine Crane are the owners. So congratulations to all of our awardees here in Best of Breed. As all of these rosettes and awards are being handed out. Hello, this is Ron Ho. I'm the Vice President of the Irish Terrier Club of America. I'm here with Nerida Sherritt, who was the sweepstakes judge for the national, especially for the Irish Terrier Club of America, held here in suburban Philadelphia in October. Uh, Nerida, I understand you are from Perth, which is in Western Australia, as I understand it. Uh, can you tell us about Irish Terriers in, in the country of Australia? Yes, there's not a lot of breeders in Australia. We've got three now on the West Coast and four or five on the East Coast. Um, however, we do have a lot of people importing bloodlines, so there's a variety of um, genes, I guess, which has kept the breed reasonably healthy. And we're also very quick to embrace technology, so we have semen that is uh, on ice now for more than 30 years, going back to dogs like... Um, that are sons of Rockledge's McMichael, still in the freezer. So um, it, it's an interesting process for us. It's easier than bringing out a live dog. So. Fair enough, fair mm. enough. You had a uh, sweepstakes entry of six boys and uh, five girls. Can you tell us what you liked about them or what you, what you thought something that might be missing? Yeah, look, um, overall I think size is quite good, though there was a bit of variety in size. Um, but there weren't dogs that were overly big or too small. Um, I think I'd like to see, generally, my, my observation for the day is um, I, I think the breed needs to watch their length of upper arm. Um, some dogs were a little short in upper arm, but it was an absolute honour and, and privilege to be asked to come out and judge the show, and I thoroughly enjoyed the assignment. And what did you like specifically about it, the winner's dog, excuse me, the sweepstakes winner's boy and the sweepstakes winner's girl? Um, I think really there's just their outline appealed to me. Um, they were confident on the move. Um, and um, probably just more the type that I'm used to seeing, yes. Okay. Thank you for coming to judge at our, at our specialty program, and, and thank, thank you. you. For me. Okay. Hello, I'm Ron Ho. I am the uh, uh, Vice President of the Irish Terrier Club of America, and we're here with jo Joan Sher Caffelli, uh, who was the National Specialty Breed Judge for the Irish Terriers here in suburban Philadelphia in October of 2015. Uh, can, may I call you Joan, by the way? Oh, please Okay, do. okay. Can, Joan, can you tell us a little bit about your background in terriers, and specifically in this breed? If uh... Well, I, I got into terriers because my, my daughter, who was seven years old, went to a dog show and she was not going home until she got a, a Norwich Terrier. Okay. She wasn't sure how to say it, but she, <laughs> <laughs> she, she did it right away. She did learn quickly. But uh, anyway, that's it. And I just love Terriers because I like their spirit. I like their devotion to their owners. And I like their spark in a ring. I like to see a good Terrier okay. move and I like to see them show. Okay. I understand you've been a judge for nearly 50 years. Is that the yes, case? Yes, I've wow. been a judge since 1965. My you. husband and I got married in 1965 and I applied to the AKC and I, I was awarded, uh, you know, the uh, privilege of being a judge. 
and um, I do two groups, and I'm going for my third group. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I want to ask you about what you thought of generally of the uh, of the uh, entries today. There were 48 total entries, so uh, it's a reasonable number anyway, and I hope that you, well, I'd be well what you thought. I, I want to tell you, I was absolutely surprised. This is the second time I've judged this breed here. Okay. And I want to tell you, the quality was packed. I mean, it was like 99%. I had a few dogs who were a little off, but not that much mm -hmm. off. You know, you got to contribute that to maybe inexperience of the owner or the buyer or something or the uh -huh. breeder uh -huh. of inexperience. But the majority of them were just absolutely gorgeous. They were sound, they were tight, they were in coat. They showed and they were presented by the handlers and all. That's what we look for, Okay. you know, okay. and that's what we want. If you don't have those things, you don't have the dog. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, well, is there anything that we as breeders could be doing to make this breed better, at least in your opinion? Um, well, you know, I've found the bites to be absolutely beautiful. Of the 48 dogs that I had to judge, only one bite was a little off. Okay. And it wasn't that bad. It was at the bottom, and it was enclosed in a, from the top row of teeth. But that is great. Your heads are great. It top lines could have a little improvement okay. in just about every breed. That's the biggest mistake, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But okay. and it's not 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 so definite that it can't be taken care of. Okay, you know. Thank you, Judge Caffelli. Uh,